Hi, it's Sarah from Raku, and I'm making a ginger salad dressing today. Um, I actually don't know if it's raw um, because of the vinegar, some vinegar, I don't know about some vinegars, and the miso. I'm not sure if miso is raw. But in any case, I'm making a ginger salad dressing. So um, I'll show you the ingredients. Sesame oil, Bragg's, ginger, garlic, vinegar, you can use rice wine or regular vinegar. I think rice wine is probably best, but I don't have that at the moment. This is miso, water for the consistency, and some honey. And basically I'm just going to mix it all up in a container, and that's it. Instead of just popping the miso in, I actually I put the vinegar in with the miso and then stirred it up and kind of mashed it so that it wouldn't just be globs of miso in the uh, in the dressing. And this isn't very much, so I think I'm gonna double, triple, quadruple the recipe, <laughs> make some more. And here we have ginger dressing. It's a lot of it. Um, I did add some lime juice and a lot more. Uh, I had more miso, vinegar, and ginger. Um, does and some honey, more honey. Didn't add any more salt. Miso is pretty, pretty salty, so no more brags. Um, but and more water definitely to uh, thin out the consistency. It's kind of strong right now. Uh, I did dilute it some, but I think that some time in the fridge to let all these flavors merge together will make it pretty good. So I didn't do any measurements because I don't really make stuff that way, but experiment. And I encourage you to try new things. Try adding some uh, chili peppers or sriracha or something in it um, to make it hot. That's probably what I might do to some later. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and go try and make some ginger salad dressing. All right, and you can use it for dips or whatever you like. All right, enjoy, thanks for watching. FYI, I use this handy dandy little garlic press for the garlic and the ginger so that it would be a smooth consistency. And it's still a little bit lumpy from the miso, um, but I think if you put it in a blender and smooth it out, then it would be really smooth, but I don't really care that much. So if you want it smooth, put it in a blender. Uh, if you don't mind it, then uh, leave it as it is. Or you can chop the garlic and ginger finely, or even grate it, because that's a good option too, because I don't have a garlic press. So when I do this on my own, not at my parents, then I'll probably just grate it. So good luck.